and welcome back to another walkthrough so for this walkthrough we're looking at powerpoint 18j northern lights this is our final project for this class uh, and powerpoint is slightly different than our other programs that we've worked on uh, but let's take a look at it let's go ahead and uh, download our materials we do have quite a few materials for this particular assignment i'm going to hit download materials uh, notice we do have several different uh, things we need to download once again do not download all files make sure you download each file individually and then you can go ahead and open up our student file and then go ahead and hit enable editing uh, once again PowerPoint uh, being part of Microsoft Office shares many of the same design features uh, Microsoft really went all out when they wanted all of their programs to look and feel the same so once again notice up here you have your tabs uh, home tab, insert tab, design tab, some of the same tabs that you have in uh, Word, Excel, uh, and even Access. And then underneath those you have your groupings. A couple different tabs that we have here that we don't have uh, in the other programs. We have our transitions tab, which are transitions from one slide to another. Usually there's some type of animation. And then you have actual animations, which is used for animating a specific object on a PowerPoint slide once again to make it a little bit more engaging when you are designing and building a powerpoint presentation uh, less really is more you don't want to have too many distractions that take away from the presentation everything that you put into a uh, powerpoint presentation you want it to be uh, something that enhances whether it's an animation that brings attention to a graph or a picture uh, whether it's a transition to a slide um, you want it to make sure that it adds value to the presentation all right so to start our presentation here to start our project uh, we want to replace all occurrences with the text north with northern so notice we have north here we probably have north somewhere else on our other slides just like Microsoft Word you can change them all at one time we go to our home tab here under our editing group where it says replace we can go ahead and click on replace where it says find what we'll type in north make sure you capitalize that in and we're going to replace it with northern and make sure you capitalize that as well so you want to change north to northern and you want to hit the replace all button and when you do that it's going to say it made two replacements and you can tell right there on our first slide it actually changed it so i can go ahead and hit ok and then i can go ahead and close out of this right here for our slide here so there are multiple slide designs that you can choose so right here we have slide one notice that we have our slide selectors over here so this right here would be slide two so on slide one here, we want to change this layout to what's called title slide. So if I come up here to my slides grouping under the home tab and I click on layout, I have a whole bunch of different layouts and I want to select title slide. And when I click it, notice that it will change the layout of this to title slide. Also, it'll come up with this design ideas on the side. We don't want that. We're just going to go ahead and exit out of that. Or step number three it wants us to change it to the ion theme with the second blue variant we're gonna to go to our design tab here from our design tab we're gonna to come to our themes and right here this one right here is our ion theme this green one if you don't see all these themes you can click the down arrow with the line above it and there it is ion we're gonna click on that and it says it wants the second blue variant which if you come over here to variants, it's right here, this blue variant. You can go ahead and close out of this design ideas. We want to change the slide size to widescreen. So we'll come up here to our customize where it says slide size. We'll change it to widescreen. For step number five, we want to display slide two. And we want to reuse slides from a different slideshow. So we're going to go to our home tab here under our home tab we're going to click on reuse slides under the slides grouping 
we'll come over here and we'll hit browse we'll go to our downloads folder and here it is p18j slides we'll click on that and choose content make sure you uncheck use source formatting and we want to insert slide 2 and we want to insert slide 3 on slide 2 it wants us to click on slide 2 let's go back to slide 2 we can go ahead and close out of this reuse slide panes here so in slide 2 it wants us to click after right here where it says best time and it wants us to do a space bar and for viewing it also wants to take us to take these next two bullet points and it wants us to increase the indent so we're going to put our cursor right before the l and we'll come up to our home tab under our paragraph grouping it's this icon right here that says increase list level I want to go ahead and click on uh, right before the B here and we're going to do the same thing hit that icon that says increase list level with slide two still selected we want to highlight the title so let's go ahead and highlight our title and it wants us to change the font size to 32 and it wants us to go to the note pane so we're going to come down here to the bottom corner click on the notes pane and we want to type in the lights reach their peak in September and March and it wants us to make sure we put that period at the end now it wants us to go to slide number three and slide number three it wants us to highlight this text right here we want to go to our font colors we're going to come up here to our font group we're going to click the down arrow next to font colors it wants us to go to the last column third one down so one two three so this color right here green accent six lighter 60 percent it wants us to uh, change the font size to 16 and it wants us to apply bold so click on B for bold it also wants us to center this so we're gonna go ahead and hit the center button on the paragraph here it wants us to change the line spacing to 1.5 so I'm gonna come up here to my paragraph grouping and change the line spacing to 1.5 and then I also want to highlight the title here, the Aurora Boris. And I want to go ahead and center this as well. Now I want to select the picture. After selecting the picture, notice that my picture format tab comes up here. I'm going to click on that. It wants me to change the picture style to soft edge rectangle. So I'm going to go ahead and find my soft edge rectangle, which is this one right here. It also wants me to make this a marker effect. So I'm going to come over here to my adjust group where it says artistic effects. I'm going to click there. And the second one over is our marker effect. For slide number four, we're going to go ahead and click on slide number four. It wants us to insert our picture, a lights picture here in this placeholder. So I'm going to click on this icon for picture and under my downloads tab I'm going to select P18J lights and hit insert. We can go ahead and close out of this design ideas tab. Here's our picture. It wants us to apply reflected rounded picture style. So I'm going to come up here to my picture styles. I'm going to click the down arrow with the line above it and right here the fourth one over is my reflected rounded rectangle and notice how it gives it a nice little reflection down here at the bottom now it wants me to move slide three in between slides one and two so i'm going to go ahead and click hold and drag slide three up here in between slides one and two i'm going to go ahead and click back on 
slide four, and it wants me to insert a new slide with section header layout. So I'm gonna come up here to my home tab where it says new slides. I'm gonna click the down arrow and I wanna do a section header. From here, I wanna click in my title group and it says type in visit Fairbanks and view the Northern Lights. And under the subtitle, it wants me to type with Kodiak West Travel. Once I'm done typing that in, it wants me to apply the uncovered transition. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect somewhere up here. I'm just going to click up here to deselect my text groupings here. I'm going to go to my transitions tab. Under my transitions tab, I want to find the one that says uncover, which is this one right here. And when I click on it, notice how it gives me a preview. It wants me to change my effect options from top. So right here where it says effect options, I'm going to click the down arrow and hit from top. Notice how it gives me a preview. It also wants me to change the duration to 1.25. So right here where it says duration, I'm going to change this to 1.25. And I want to make sure I apply to all, which will now apply that transition to all of my slides. Step number 15, we want to insert a header footer. So I'm going to go to my insert tab here. From my insert tab, under my text grouping, I want to click on header footer. I'm going to click on notes and handouts. I want to include the date and time, make sure it's updated automatically. I want to put a check mark next to page number, and I want to put a check mark next to footer. And in the footer, I want to type in 18 J underscore northern underscore lights and go ahead and hit apply to all. And lastly, I want to put in my document property. So I'm going to go to my file tab here under info under add a tag. I'm going to type in northern lights comma space Fairbanks. Make sure you capitalize the F for Fairbanks. And we're done. Let's go ahead and save our document. I'm going to go ahead and save it again for good measure. So now that we've saved it, I'm going to go ahead and minimize it. And I'm going to go ahead and close out on my downloading starting materials. I'm going to go ahead and choose my file. There it is. There's my file. I'm going to click on it, hit open, upload. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit submit for grading. And I'll go ahead and close the assignment. And I'm going to hit my three dots here and hit view submissions. And it looks like I got a 95%. Let's go ahead and check that out. I'm going to click on that. And it looks like I forgot to, to set the layout to title slide and scroll down. It looks like I missed some points here. And it says uh, for slide number five, text was not set to visit Fairbanks and view the Northern Lights. So I can go ahead and come back to my PowerPoint presentation here and I can click on slide one and right here where it says slides, where it says layout, I can change it to title slide. Close out of this, go back to my last slide and it looks like I forgot to put the exclamation point. So I'm going to go ahead and click, click here and I'm going to put the exclamation point. Now that I have the explanation point, I'm going to save it again. I'll minimize it. And let's go ahead and upload it one more time. Click on my three dots, view submissions. And I got 100%. Feel free, if you make a mistake, you can go back and redo this for as many times as for the best grade possible. This is our last walkthrough for this class, and like always, have a wonderful day.